Hi there. How are you? I have added some things to my live for tonight, so we'll see if that helps you guys. I don't know if anybody's on yet. But I'm going to get the computer set up like I do every week. And then we'll get going. Hopefully you guys are doing okay. I don't know who's on with me. Say hello. So, hopefully you're doing okay. Today's been kind of a long day for me, but we'll be alright. So, I finished my root canal today. Hi, Lise. Hi, Cheryl. And, um... Yeah, not as bad as last time, but still not 100%. So, anyways, um, before I get started, Lise, I will tell you that your order came in. Cheryl, yes, yours did as well. I've organized and bagged them all. Um, Lise, after class, I'll probably drop by and um, get yours to you. So, um... Unless you want to wait till Saturday, just let me know, okay? Um, personally, I wouldn't want to wait, so that's just me, though. Um, I'll be up in Yucca, so I don't know. Anyways, um, I don't know if the light makes things better. Please let me know that. Um, like I said, I'm trying new things and trying to figure it out. So, if you can see better, I know it's more shadowy, but if you can see better because the light is better... Um, just let me know, because I'm trying to get rid of that bar, um, when the overhead light, you know, hits that bar where my tripod thing is. So, okay, at least I'll, um, make sure to have it on Saturday afternoon, correct? So, um, so anyways, so I, um, I blogged about the tailored punch being able to do dovetails, and I figured I would just do it real quick so you guys could see. I don't know if you're able to see that. But basically, instead of doing the entire paper like this, so you get the whole punch, you're just using the top corner. Okay? So I don't know if that helps you or not, but we're always trying to stretch our product to make it a little bit more than it needs to be. So that way we can... Okay, Lise afternoon um so that way we can um make it go a little further of course right so all right so for tonight i figured um with another order that came in i had actually three orders that came in um and michelle if you're watching thank you because your order came in as well um so anyways um with these extra orders that I've picked up, because I've been ordering supplies like crazy, um, I got the Precious, precious Parsh, oh my goodness, Tongue Twister. Wow, the card kit, no. The Precious Parcel Card Kit. So, I thought I'd create at least one card with it depending on how long it takes, and um, we'll figure it out, okay? So, the kit includes enough stuff, for lack of better terms, to make eight cards, okay? So, really cool. Um, the other thing you want to pay attention to when you're ordering kits is the coordinating colors here, okay? If you have questions on those coordinating colors before you order, it's either in the catalog or you can ask me, and we'll make sure that you get at least one instance of... Um, the coordinating color or some kind of compliment or you know so that way you are not stuck with nothing to do okay so all right so in this kit that is your freebie kit with the fifty dollar purchase okay you've got your paper clips that come in you've got some smaller cards that tuck in is my understanding oh hold up and just like the paper pumpkin there's tips and all that kind of stuff 
And let's see, what are the tips? Align the gold foil corner stickers with the embossing on the card. Um, and the assembly instructions are the same. And then we've got it in French and German and Japanese. Because guess what? We're in France, Germany, and Japan. So, all right, so that makes sense, right? It's not because we're here in the States and nobody can press one for English. So, anyways, um, so here's the card we've got. Here's the stickers of what we have to peel and what we have to do. So I'm just going to leave this to the side. I've got the envelopes here. Really cool envelopes. Hopefully they fit correctly. I know sometimes with Paper Pumpkin and the foiled ones, it was um, a little tight, shall we say. So, it'll be okay though. Okay, so we've got, I believe this is the seafoam green, and then these, or soft seafoam, and then these are mossy meadow. Okay, so in this kit you've got four of each of the light and the dark. If you don't like them light, you can always make them darker. Obviously it doesn't go the other way. So, um, some stickers for the corners, and then some little faux stamp kind of things, and sending a note, sending wishes, so kind of cool. Alright, so we're going to at least do one of these, and then we're going to see how things go, because it's been a long day for me, and I don't know about for you, but yes. Okay, so we're going to fold this over, and fold this over, and how does this go? Does it glue this way? I gotta look at these instructions, don't I? Like I said, I just opened this. Um, so we're gonna see how this goes. Okay? So, it looks like this goes like this to see the stamp. That doesn't make sense, does it? No. Okay. So we are gonna see how this goes. I got itches and all kinds of stuff going on. All right, so we're gonna glue this up here and then this is going to pop in there and then fold out so we have a card. And then you've got the other spot to do the pocket. Kind of a cool concept, right? Okay, all right, so for this, I'm gonna do, let's see, sending thoughts, sending note, Sending wishes. We're just going to pick the top one. How's that? Actually, no. I'm going to pick one of the more bottom ones because I'm not doing the light green. That's the why. Okay. So, I am thinking I want it to line up in here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work backwards, of course, right? So, I'm going to stick this in the hole so it lines up hopefully straight, but we'll see how it goes, and then stick it down. I didn't quite get that, but it's okay. Okay, and then we're going to peel these sides here. Somebody might be lucky enough to get the first one, which is going to be crooked. Of course, right? Because it has to be. Okay, so we've got this. We're going to fold this up here, and then this pops down into the corner here. Kind of a cool concept, huh? Okay. I did miss on those words. But if you're able to hang over, you'll be okay. <laughs> so the other thing you can do is plop this down in here. And if you don't like the sending wishes being in the mail slot, which I really don't, I guess we can still peel this up. Nah. Anyways, you can peel that up and put it here instead. So... So I don't like the fact that it blocks there. In fact, I really don't like the fact that it blocks there. So we're going to see if we can peel this up. Since it hasn't been glued down very long, right? Yay! Okay, pop that out of there. So I am going to put this here instead. I know it's not what you're supposed to do, but when do I do what I'm supposed to do, right? So, so there we go here. Okay. So we've got our flowers, and now it doesn't want to stick because I've already done. It's okay. Okay. And let's see here. Is 
So we've got that. And then we've got our corners that are gonna go way down in the corners here, where the corner of the embossing goes. Guy, even they're pretty after you peel them. They must have embossed them after they laid down the stickers. Very cool. So, all right, so if you wanna punch out your holes, they're right here. And you probably want to do that before you put your card in there. But honestly, I don't think I want to do that. So, because I don't feel like lace and ribbon tonight. And that's just how it's going to be. Okay? So, that for me is one of my cards. Okay? And for me, I am going to do one of the lighter ones. So you can see what they all look like. And how they fit in the envelopes and all that kind of stuff. And we'll get it. We will get it. We will get it. Okay. So I'm going to peel this apart. Just like the last time. Except we are not going to put the other. Down on the other side. We're not going to put sending wishes through the window. Okay. So we're going to glue this down. And then we're going to pop this through. So it folds correctly. Yes. Okay. And, I don't know, I still like the pink better. So, we're going to do another pink one, and probably on the darker I'm going to end up, we'll just see how it goes. I don't know. Okay, so sending thoughts there. And we're going to pick the other one to stick through the hole. So you can see what they both look like. They're both interchangeable with either card because they have all the colors. Okay. So we've got that. Let's do some of these gold guys again. The corners. So very cool concept and an awesome little thing for a freebie. Um, if you're into kits and easy and quick an awesome thing however I don't know if it is your thing or not you know there's so many things hey Jude how are you so there's so many cool things in the catalog that oh I don't know and that needs to tuck down more doesn't it yes it does <laughs> so let's see here now it fits look at that and those fit very very well Let's make sure the other one does. And tonight's going to be a little bit quick just because, well, guess what? I've had a long day. I don't know about you, but it's been extremely long for me because I was in the dentist chair for a long time today. Not as long as last time, but still long enough if you get my drift. So... So we've got that, and then they, we've got these really cute die-cut postage stamp looking things. So if you want to make eight quick cards, really good deal. And um, they're really cute. So these will probably be stamped with a thank you or something like that. And they're just going to, they're really cute. So anyways, without anything else, I'm going to make it a little bit quick tonight just because well, I'm going to bed early. I'll be honest with you. Dennis takes it out of me. So, um, so without anything else, follow me, stampingwithjohnny.com, and I will talk to you later. Tomorrow we have class up in Yucca, and if not, I'll see you Saturday afternoon. You do have 15 more minutes to, yes, I said minutes, not days, to RSVP for the Saturday afternoon session. Um, I don't have anybody so far in the morning, so I'm probably going to be canceling that. And I think that's about it. Stampingwithjohnny.com. Thank you so much for attending tonight. And now that you got some eyes on the postal, what was it? What was this called? Oh my gosh. It was a tongue twister. I did a precious parcel card kit. Um... So you'll know if you want it or not. So thank you so much for joining me and have a great night. Thank you. Bye-bye.